This is Democracy Now!, democracynow.org, The War and Peace Report. I'm Amy Goodman. And I'm Aaron Maté. Welcome to our listeners and viewers around the country and around the world. Well, next year will mark a decade since the Bush administration's warrantless spying first came to light. The news the White House authorized surveillance on Americans without court approval shattered the secrecy around the National Security Agency. Until then, many were either unaware of the NSA or just saw it as another outpost of a bloated national security state. But the exposure of its warrantless wiretapping was arguably the, the biggest scandal of the post-9-11 era. That is, until last year. That's when Edward Snowden came forward to reveal a mammoth spying apparatus that spans the globe, from phone records to text messages to social media and email, from the internal communications of climate summits to those of foreign missions and even individual heads of state. These revelations have sparked intense public scrutiny. And today, uh, advocates are holding one of their biggest online actions so far. It's called The Day We Fight Back against mass surveillance. More than 6,000 websites are taking part, including Reddit, Tumblr, Mozilla, the Electronic Frontier Foundation, American Civil Liberties Union. The websites will display a banner encouraging visitors to fight back against surveillance. Internet users are encouraged to post memes and change their social media avatars to reflect their demands. Organizers announced the action on the eve of the death anniversary of the Internet open access activist Aaron Swartz. He helped set a precedent for such Internet-based protests in January 2012, when over 8,000 websites went dark for 12 hours in protest of a pair of controversial bills that were being debated in Congress, the Stop Online Piracy Act, or SOPA, and the Protect IP Act, or PIPA. The bills died in committee in the wake of the protests. This clip from the new documentary, The Internet's Own Boy, the story of Aaron Swartz, describes the successful campaign against SOPA and PIPA. Wikipedia went black, Reddit went black, Craigslist went black, the phone lines on Capitol Hill flat out melted. Members of Congress started rushing to issue statements retracting their support for the bill that they were promoting just a couple days ago. And that was when, as hard as it was for me to believe, after all this, we had won. The thing that everyone said was impossible, that some of the biggest companies in the world had written off as kind of a pipe dream, had happened. We did it. We won. This is a historic week in internet politics, maybe American politics. The thing that we heard from people in Washington, D.C., from staffers on Capitol Hill was they received more emails and more phone calls on Super Blackout Day than they'd ever received about anything. I think that was an extremely exciting moment. This was the moment when the internet had grown up politically. That's a clip from the new documentary, The Internet's Own Boy, the story of Aaron Swartz, which premiered at the Sundance Film Festival in Park City, Utah, last month. Swartz inspired organizers to create today's The Day We Fight Back protest, thousands of, web of websites speaking in one voice against mass surveillance by the NSA. We go now to San Francisco, where we're joined by Rainey Reitman. She is the activism director at the Electronic Frontier Foundation, also co-founder of the Freedom of the Press Foundation. Rainey, welcome to Democracy Now! Talk about the significance of this day, and particularly what you're targeting and what you're doing. Thanks so much for having me. So the day we fight back is a digital protest, and over 6,000 websites have signed on, and we're pushing for a number of things. But for people within the United States, we're really pushing people to contact their members of Congress. We are at sort of a real interesting point in the NSA debate. We have Obama making a few key concessions towards reform. We have review groups and the uh, a congressionally appointed oversight board for civil liberties demanding that uh, fairly extensive reforms be made to NSA spying. And we have polls of public opinion showing 
saying that overwhelmingly the American people do want reform. And in this landscape, we really have an opportunity to push for congressional action. And that's what we're doing. We're asking for people to call on Congress to promote the USA Freedom Act, which is a very moderate bill that would help to rein in NSA surveillance, and then push for additional reforms to that bill, such as uh, privacy protections for people overseas and ensuring that Internet encryption standards aren't undermined by the NSA, and then also defeating a bill known as the FISA Improvements Act. That's a bill that would actually attempt to codify into law mass surveillance, to legalize uh, some of the worst mass surveillance that we've seen from the NSA. Randy, talk about what uh, visitors to websites are going to be seeing today, and what has the response been of the major Internet companies, Google, Microsoft, Apple, who have been caught up in the spying programs but now claim that they want to see reforms as well? Well, the visitors to websites all over the world, uh, on over 6,000 websites, will see a banner. And within the United States, uh, that banner is going to give them an opportunity to call their member of Congress. It's actually going to have a script there. You give it your phone number, and then it calls you. Or you can email a member of Congress. If you're coming from overseas, that banner is going to show a a global petition against mass surveillance that you can sign on to with thousands of other people around the world. And that petition will then be used to kind of move forward policy debates around opposing mass surveillance. And interestingly, we have seen a lot of these tech companies starting to stand with their users. And this is something that they were a little bit slow to the gate. But in fact, big companies like Facebook, like Google, uh, like Microsoft, like Yahoo, they've endorsed this action in addition to pushing for reform more generally. You can see it. Uh, they have a coalition website that they put together called Reform Government Surveillance. That website's running the banner itself.